Hi, I'm Jenny and I want to welcome you to our new video newsletter which we'll be doing every month to keep you up to date with all the great things that are going on at Kids Aloud. As many of our parents will know, one of our core values at Kids Aloud is what we call getting better every day. And I know that listening to our parents and listening to our colleagues is one of the very best ways to do that. So each month I'll be updating you on the things that we've responded to on the back of parent feedback. So beginning with um, children's learning, um, many of our parents are really keen to understand what their children are learning when they're with us. Um, as you know, kids are allowed to have a very clear ethos of learning through play, but we know that children have amazing outcomes with this approach. Um, and every single month, I'm sure many of you know, but every child has a learning journey and in the back of that learning journey is we, what we call a tracker booklet, which is simply tracking the skills that your child has mastered that month. Um, all through play, we don't hothouse them. <laughs> um, and what we're looking to do is inform parents better um, what their children are learning. So starting from January, we'll be doing a monthly summary, um, just a very simple piece of paper that you'll receive each month, letting you know the skills your child's mastered and also sending you some lovely photographs home as well. And what I've asked your child's key person also to do is that any pictures we've taken during the month, we also put that together with this so that you get those photos every month as well. So that's one of the first things that we've done to respond um, to your requests. Um, another thing that we've trialled is Forest School. Um, Forest School is the idea of getting out into nature and really experiencing wildlife and a bit of risky play. Um, and we've trialled it with Cheadle and Christie's and it has been a huge success. So the plan again from January, and we'll send you some further information about this, is that preschool children that want to can sign up to preschool at all our centres. Um, Ski School has been another example of a fabulous success, an initiative again for preschool children where they can, with our partnership with the Chill Factor, learn the basics of skiing. The children have absolutely loved this and a number of our parents have asked whether we can um, look into an advanced course for the children that have mastered the basics of skiing. So we're going to um, chat with Chill Factor about that and hope to be launching an advanced course for those that have already completed the introduction to skiing. So again watch this space. Um, the next one's a bit of a grim subject actually, it's diarrhoea. Um, but we do need to talk about these things when children come to nursery. Um, we've had a dialogue with our parents about what the appropriate um, exclusion period is for um, sickness and diarrhoea and originally we were using 24 hours but actually that does go against um, the advice of the HPA where the HPA um, recommend 48 hours exclusion from a nursery or a childcare setting and we feel it's really important to follow this advice but we are aware that maybe in the past we have sent children home where maybe they, they don't have full-blown diarrhoea. So we're going to really train the team to make sure they know the difference between a loose nappy and um, diarrhoea and only exclude in that circumstance. Um, the new policies on the website, have a read of it, but also that policy has got a right of appeal for parents. It's an instant right of appeal. So if you don't agree, um, you can speak to the manager and the manager will listen to your view, but the manager's decision will have to be final. Um, we actually think a lot less children will end up being absent from nursery by implementing this policy properly because it will only be the very sick children that we won't be having in the centre and it will, we believe, um, stop the infection of illness as well and at the end of the day that's what we all want. Okay, the next idea a parent had was swap sessions. As you know, Kids Aloud is really, really flexible and we're keen to be as flexible as we possibly can. A parent came to me and asked whether we would consider doing same day swaps and my initial reaction was it wouldn't really be workable because obviously if everybody rang that day and did a same day swap we'd be staffed for the wrong number um, of children and it would cause us very big operational issues. 
But the compromise that I came to with this parent, and they thought it was a really fantastic idea, and clearly we're going to do it for you all, is that a same-day swap had to be done before 9 o'clock. Um, so if you woke up and your child was unwell, it was something that you could respond to that day, but quickly. And that the cost of doing a same-day swap would be £20. So we've implemented that. The swap information, again, is on the website if you want to take a look at it. Just a couple more things that we've done for you um, this month based on your feedback. Um, children moving up to preschool, a number of parents felt it was quite daunting for their child to move up on their own. So we've been trialling the idea of a group of children moving together to preschool so that they're with their friends. Um, but also that when they do their settles in preschool, um, that they will have a colleague with them from the toddler room so that they have a familiar adult as well as familiar children with them. And it has worked fantastically well. So we've decided now to, again, adopt this as our standard approach. So a fantastic idea that came from a parent that we've now adopted. Um, the next group move that we'll be doing are any children aged three between the 1st of January and the 30th of April. Um, obviously it's not black and white, there may be children that are not ready that fall within that category or there may be children that are ready that, you know, are the 1st of May. Um, but we will obviously listen to every individual child's need. Um, you'll be finding out whether you're in that group during December and the settles will start after Christmas and the New Year and uh, by mid-January hopefully that new group of children will all be settled into preschool and having a ball. And the final thing, um, we introduced Kids Allowed Coats last year, I've got one here, um, and they've been quite a big success. Um, they've got Kids Allowed on the back and if you want you can also have your child's initials on the front. But one of the bits of feedback we had was that black was a bit of a dull colour. Um, so this year, we have, um, we have said this year that you can pick any colour that we can make available to you. The coats are £25, which is pretty much exactly what it costs us. They're very high quality, fully waterproof, windproof um, and reversible. So an absolutely beautiful jacket. And as I say, it's available in lots of different colours. So we're looking really to take orders over the next couple of weeks for that. Okay, just a few um, changes that we've made and a few requests that we've got. Um, if your child's an asthmatic, ideally we'd like you to leave an inhaler permanently at the nursery. I recognise that might mean you need to get an extra prescription, but we just think it's safer all round if we know when we go for a child's inhaler it's going to be there. And we've had a few instances recently where we've gone for a child's inhaler and a parent's forgotten to bring it, so that'd be fabulous if you could. Um, wellies is another one. Um, ideally we'd love to keep a pair of your child's wellies permanently um, at Kids Allowed. Um, and if you could bring them in for the winter months, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Um, childcare vouchers. Many of you pay by childcare vouchers, which is fantastic and a really tax efficient way to pay for your childcare fees. But what we are introducing from December is an automated way of matching your childcare vouchers to your account. Um, you can imagine the vouchers are all exactly the same value and doing it manually has been a really labour intensive way to do things. But the absolute key to making this work is that you use the right reference with your provider. So if you could call your provider and absolutely make sure that they're using the right reference going forward because the automated system can only match on that and if we don't have your reference we can't put your payment on your account, it's just going to sit there in no man's land. Um, Festivals. We have a bit of an urban myth at the moment that we've banned festivals and I'm sure you can imagine we don't ban anything at Kids Allowed, it's not our approach. Um, but what we have done is tried to really pare back how we celebrate festivals so that they're meaningful to the children. So, you know, a full-blown celebration of Halloween in the baby room really doesn't have any meaning for the children in that room. So this year, for example, one of the things that we did do in the baby room was on Halloween we put pumpkins and other tactile things in the children's treasure basket. So they were participating, but in a meaningful way. And again, you know, if you want to send your child in in a costume, that's absolutely fine. We're never going to ban anything like that. But real celebrations of festivals tend to happen in toddlers and preschool where the children are a little bit more um, able to really understand what's going on. Um, but we can promise you if there's anything you want us to do, as we would always say, then as long as it's a reasonable request, of course, we're going to say yes to it. Um, quick update on um, the fruit platter that we provide at the end of the day. Um, 
What we've decided to do is for the majority of the evening the fruit platter will be in reception but from half past five we're actually going to bring the fruit into the rooms so that the children can sit and enjoy um, some fruit before they go home. So it's not that we've removed the fruit, it's that the fruit is now from half past five onwards going to be in each of the children's rooms so that they can sit, relax and enjoy the fruit. And obviously if they want to take some home with them as well they're more than welcome, there'll be plenty there. And finally, um, a team member suggested that they didn't like the new lanyards, the badges that they have around the neck. They felt they were getting in the way when they were interacting with the children. Um, we've tried numerous ways of identify, identifying colleagues um, with their uniforms, but what we've realised actually is the most simple way to do it is have a board outside with the colleague's picture and a, a little bit of additional information as well which you might find useful. So we're now going to put whether they're first aid trained, we're going to put their level of qualification when they join the Kids Allowed family and if there are any um, foreign languages that they can speak. Um, so we hope you see that as a step forward but we're no longer going to have lanyards with the colleague's name or the names on any new um, uniforms. Okay, just a few dates for the diary. Um, Christmas is always a busy time of the year and we have um, pantos at all our centres and we also have Christmas concerts for the preschool children. So watch out for those dates, we don't want anybody missing them and obviously also the dates we close between Christmas and New Year. Um, we have a few open days, weekend open days going on at all of our centres and it would be really great if you knew anybody looking for childcare that you let them know about these and recommended our services. Actually the only centre we're not having an open day is our Christie Fields Centre because it is virtually full and what we don't want to do is not have availability for younger siblings. It's very, very important that the families that are already at Kids Allowed can also bring their younger children. So if you are in the position of needing a place at Christie Fields, please can you get your name down as soon as you can because we really don't want to be having that horrible conversation of saying that we have no availability. Um, a really, really important one for the team this is. Um, we have every year our awards for the team and one of the most prestigious awards that we give is the parent hero. In other words, somebody that the parent votes as their childcare practitioner. In fact, it's not just childcare, it's anybody within the company that's been a hero to you, whether that be the reception team, the housekeeping team, the chef, whoever makes a difference to your child's experience at Kids Allowed. And we would really, really appreciate you participating in this. You'll have already had an email and we're actually going to extend um, the opportunity for you to vote to make sure that we get as many parents as possible voting for their parent hero. It means the world to the team, so please get involved. Um, and then finally, um, you've probably all heard of TripAdvisor, we use it for our holidays, but in childcare there's one called daynurseries.co.uk which is pretty much the same thing but for childcare. And they have an award this year and we'd love to be up there um, in, as one of the top providers of childcare, but to do that we need your recommends on the site. Closing date is sometime in December, so it'd um, be fantastic if you could go on there and say what you think about Kids Allowed. Okay, well that's the end of our first video newsletter. Hope you've enjoyed it and obviously um, any ideas you've got for content or how we can improve things, we'd love to hear from you. And on that note, as you know at Kids Allowed, we do love to get parent feedback, good, bad, ideas for improvements or just ideas for additional services we can offer your family. So anything at all that you want to get in touch with me about, please do. And we look forward to um, doing the next newsletter in December.